Philosophy of War, Wikipedia article audio The philosophy of war is the area of philosophy devoted to examining issues such as the causes of war, the relationship between war and human nature, and the ethics of war. Certain aspects of the philosophy of war overlap with the philosophy of history, political philosophy, international relations, and the philosophy of law. Works about the philosophy of war Perhaps the greatest and most influential work in the philosophy of war is On War by Karl von Clausewitz. It combines observations on strategy with questions about human nature and the purpose of war. Clausewitz especially examines the teleology of war, whether war is a means to an end outside itself or whether it can be an end in itself. He concludes that the latter cannot be so, and that war is politics by different means, i.e. that war must not exist only for its own sake. It must serve some purpose for the state. Leo Tolstoy's novel War and Peace contains frequent philosophical digressions on the philosophy of war. It was influential on later thought about war. Tolstoy's Christian-centered philosophy of war was a direct influence on Gandhi's Hinduism-centered nonviolent resistance philosophy. Traditions of Thought While Sun Tzu's The Art of War focuses mostly on weaponry and strategy instead of philosophy, his observations are often broadened into a philosophy applied in situations extending well beyond war itself. Parts of Niccolo Machiavelli's masterpiece The Prince and parts of his own work titled The Art of War discuss some philosophical points relating to war, though neither book could be said to be a work in the philosophy of war. Teleological Categories Since the philosophy of war is often treated as a subset of another branch of philosophy it would be difficult to define any clear-cut schools of thought in the same sense that, e.g., existentialism or objectivism can be described as distinct movements. The Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy refers to Karl von Clausewitz as the only philosopher of war implying that he is the only philosophical writer who develops a philosophical system focusing exclusively on war. However, discernible traditions of thought on war have developed over time, so that some writers have been able to distinguish broad categories. Ethical Categories Anatole Rappaport's introduction to his edition of the J.J. Graham translation of Clausewitz's On War identifies three main teleological traditions in the philosophy of war, the cataclysmic, the eschatological, and the political. These are not the only possible teleological philosophies of war, but only three of the most common. As Rappaport says, To put it metaphorically, in political philosophy war is compared to a game of strategy, in eschatological philosophy, to a mission or the denouement of a drama, in cataclysmic philosophy, to a fire or an epidemic, these do not, of course, exhaust the views of war prevailing at different times and at different places. For example, war has at times been viewed as a pastime or an adventure, as the only proper occupation for a nobleman, as an affair of honor, as a ceremony, as an outlet of aggressive instincts or a manifestation of a death wish, as nature's way of ensuring the survival of the fittest, as an absurdity, as a tenacious custom, destined to die out like slavery, and as a crime. Sources Clausewitz views war as a rational instrument of national policy. The three words rational, instrument and national are the key concepts of his paradigm. In this view, the decision to wage war ought to be rational, in the sense that it ought to be based on estimated costs and gains of war. Next, war ought to be instrumental, in the sense that it ought to be waged in order to achieve some goal 
never for its own sake, and also in the sense that strategy and tactics ought to be directed towards just one end, namely towards victory. Finally, war ought to be national, in the sense that its objective should be to advance the interests of a national state and that the entire effort of the nation ought to be mobilized in the service of the military objective. Another possible system for categorizing different schools of thought on war can be found in the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy, based on ethics. The SEP describes three major divisions in the ethics of war, the realist, the pacifist, and the just war theory. In a nutshell, Realists will typically hold that systems of morals and ethics which guide individuals within societies cannot realistically be applied to societies as a whole to govern the way they, as societies, interact with other societies. Hence, a state's purposes in war is simply to preserve its national interest. This kind of thinking is similar to Machiavelli's philosophy and Thucydides and Hobbes may also fall under this category, pacifism however, maintains that a moral evaluation of war is possible, and that war is always found to be immoral. Generally, there are two kinds of modern secular pacifism to consider, a more consequentialist form of pacifism which maintains that the benefits accruing from war can never outweigh the costs of fighting it, and a more deontological form of pacifism, which contends that the very activity of war is intrinsically wrong, since it violates foremost duties of justice, such as not killing human beings. Henry Ford and others were famous advocates of pacifistic diplomatic methods instead of war. Nonviolence also holds that a moral evaluation of war is a duty, and that war is always found to be immoral. Mohandas K. Gandhi, Martin Luther King and Leo Tolstoy were all famous advocates of power of truth, lawfulness, soft power, nonviolent resistance and civil disobedience methods instead of war and to prevent war. Gandhi said he disliked more cowardice than violence just war theory, along with pacifism, holds that morals do apply to war. However, unlike pacifism, according to just war theory it is possible for a war to be morally justified. The concept of a morally justified war underlies much of the concept international law, such as the Geneva Conventions. Aristotle, Cicero, Augustine, Aquinas, and Hugo Grotius are among the philosophers who have espoused some form of a just war philosophy. One common just war theory evaluation of war is that war is only justified if one waged in a state or nation's self-defense, or two waged in order to end gross violations of human rights. Political philosopher John Rawls advocated these criteria as justification for war.